Good afternoon and welcome. Thank you for joining us on this wonderful journey of Dahlia's from sacred liturgical music to the more sacred concert performance of today. I remember the very first time Dahlia joined my Yuvula Tadeo choir. I recognized that she was very intelligent, learned super fast, even though she did not have the sight reading experience that I usually require for my more advanced call groups. But she worked hard, she fine-tuned her vocal techniques, listened to every word of my suggestions, and very soon we were up to nine languages. Uh, Italian, Latin, French, German, Spanish, Greek, English, of course, Tagalog, and her own Philippine uh, cultural dialogues. So, Christopher and Sebastian, you can be so very proud of your mom, singing in nine languages. And also, we have to applaud her because she has been given a gift by God and not everyone that is being uh, talented and has this wonderful gift does put in the work and she put in the extra work and fine-tuned her skills and and gained more and more experience so I'm just very, very proud of her, and so can you. In this wonderful mystical month of May that we're in, uh, the presence of our Blessed Virgin Mary is very, very present. And so all we have to do is ask her for guidance and for her help in this now time. So let us close our eyes, take a deep breath, and join me. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. At the same time, we would like to thank St. Anthony of Padua He's very present here in his church. We ask for his blessing and we give thanks for the many times he helped us find all that we could not find. Also, we'd like to thank Monsignor, our pastor here, Monsignor Sal Anthony Pilato for his generosity and kindness. Today's Little Treasure Chest concert is divided into two sections. The first one, the music is from the 17th century to the Romantic 19th century. Dahlia's first song is from an aria from the opera Rinaldo. The composer is Georg Friedrich Händel. Händel was born in Halle, Germany in 1685. He studied law and music, um, moved to Hamburg, worked there at the opera house, composed two operas, but didn't feel that he found the recognition, moved to Italy, gained more insight into Italian opera, and made some valuable contacts for later on. And then he settled finally in uh, 1710, 1712 to London, England, where he gained great recognition and also received a lifelong pension from Queen Anne so that he could continue to compose and would not have to be dependent on an individual um, patron. So we 
give thanks to Handel, especially for his beautiful Alleluia chorus from the Oratorio Messiah. He made many composition operas and oratorios, but we are focusing on this opera of Rinaldo, which plays in outside the walls of Jerusalem. If you imagine a large Christian crusaders army, um, the, one of the officers is Rinaldo, and he's in love with the commander's daughter. Now the commander says very simple, okay, you go in, you conquer the city, you can have my daughter. Well, within the city walls is the king with his large army. And so there is some conflict, obviously. And so in the second act, we find that the king's uh, people capture the daughter of uh, the commander. And so we find her singing Lashia Kyopianga because she's afraid she doesn't know whether she's going to die or the, and what about her freedom? So, um, Lashia Kyopianga, la cruda sorte, let me lament for my cruel destiny, let me sigh for my freedom. Dahlia will sing this in the Italian language. Thank you. 
art song collection, we go to the, we jump ahead to the Romantic period. Après son rêve is a composition by Gabriel Fauré. Um, the Romantic period comes right after the French Revolution. So people are desperately wanting to go back to beautiful melodies and to passion and to love. And, and so Gabriel Fauré actually was a composer that to this day is influential with uh, uh, beautiful romantic melodies. And so Après un rêve means after the dream, you came to me, our eyes met in this mystical night. Oh dream, I yearn for you to come back to me. Oh nuit mystérieuse. Dahlia will sing this in French. Now we jump back to the Baroque period. Johann Sebastian Bach, German composer, actually the greatest composer of all times. He was born in 1685. You will remember that date. Handel was also born that same year, 1685. And um, Bach gifted us with an enormous amount of music, over a thousand compositions. A cantata for every Sunday of the Lutheran liturgical uh, year, the Brandenburg concertos, concertos for just about every instrument in the orchestra, um, the 
Bach unaccompanied cello sonatas are wonderful. If you have a chance to get Yo-Yo Ma's recording, it's just glorious. Um, he also fathered 20 children, and for his second wife, Anna Maria Magdalena, he put together a collection of songs and also a collection of preludes. The first song that Dahlia will sing is Bist du bei mir? Now, what's interesting about this is that it is actually an aria from an opera called Diomedes by Gottfried Heinrich Stölzl. I had to look that up and read it because he is a composer that is not familiar. As a matter of fact, from he lived at the same time as Bach composed an enormous amount of music, and the only melody that is left from all of that is Bistu bei mir, which Bach resurrected and uh, put accompaniment to it. And uh, so Dahlia will sing this in German, Bistu bei mir, are you with me? That is my joy in my life and in the last moment of my death. As long as you are there, that is my joy. Geh ich in Frieden. The second song by Bach is what's called the other famous Ave Maria. Now, Bach wrote this C major prelude. It's a small little prelude, delightful. And what is interesting is that I bet you that every uh, piano student from the time it was composed in probably 1715 to this now time has been, uh, has been ordered to practice and play the C major prelude. It's just one of those pieces that every student learns. And so 100 years after uh, Bach composed it, um, Georges Gounod from the French period, Romantic period, also a brilliant uh, composer and brilliant organist, loved this melody and he was inspired to write this heavenly, beautiful melody of the Ave Maria, which is in the Latin Ave Maria Gratia Plena above it. And so to this day, uh, and what is miraculous, he did not change, not even one word, um, excuse me, not even one note of the prelude itself. And so to this day, it is called the Bach Gounod Ave Maria. And Dahlia will sing this now in Latin. Okay. 
Ah, Giacomo Puccini, the royalty of Italian opera. Puccini composed La Boheme, Madame Butterfly, Tosca, Turandot, just to mention a few. All of them very dramatic, three acts, beautiful, beautiful orchestration. The music is just glorious. And then we have this very curious one-act opera called Schiani Schicchi. It's a comedic opera and very lighthearted, the very, very rich aristocrat dies. The family finds out that all of his belongings are going to be donated to the monastery. And of course, they're trying to figure out, oh my God, how are we going to change the will? We need time. And so they put somebody else in place of the dead father, uncle, etc. The doctor comes, is being fooled. He thinks it's such a great healer. Oh, I'm so fantastic. And so the papers are signed and they gain time. They um, then, uh, what's the word? Um, blackmail the lawyer and everybody uh, writes down what it is that they want from, from the inheritance and Everything is fine. In the meantime, our beautiful heroine, uh, the daughter, is in love with Skiani Skiki. And the father said, no way are you going to marry into this horrible, horrible family. I will not allow it. And so she pleads with him, oh, my beloved daddy, oh, mio bavino caro, I will go to the bridge of Vecchio and I will throw myself into the river Darno if you do not allow me. I love him, I love him. So, of course, who can possibly not be moved by this plea? And so he gives her permission. In the meantime, the, um, the official death is declared, the will is read, and everybody gets what they had asked for. And to their consternation of the family, <laughs> our heroine and Skiani Skiki ends up with the house and with the mule and whatever is left of this rich, rich heritage. <laughs> and so all ends well. Although with this family, who knows? <laughs> and so we hear now Dahlia singing O mio babino caro in Italian.
We begin the second part of our program with music from the 20th century. And here, the wonder of all miracles, the Broadway musical is born. Before the Second World War, many people escaped to find safety here in America. By welcoming immigrants, America has been blessed with extraordinary talent. A dramatic point which brings us to our selection from the musical The Sound of Music by Rogers and Hammerstein. This true story begins in Europe in and around the city of Salzburg in Austria, where we find the Benedictine Abbey Nonberg. Nonberg actually means the nun's mountain. Nonne, nun, berg, mountain. And so here we find Maria. She's a free-spirited nun, always late to every prayer service because she gets lost in her music and singing in the mountains. And so they sent her away to be the governess of the renowned, very wealthy Austrian Navy captain von Trapp. Maria brings music back into the family. The children sing beautifully in four-part harmony. Um, and so, and it is a true fact that in 1938, they escape. By now, this is Nazi-occupied Austria. They escape through the mountains into Switzerland and then from there to, the, to America, uh, where they kept singing and are well known as the singing von Trapp family. Uh, they toured all throughout the United States. The first song that Maria taught the children was you, uh, my favorite things. There was a thunderstorm and they were afraid and, and she tells them, all you have to do is think about your favorite things and then you will not be afraid. And we will have, we have a table with uh, displayed some of the favorite things mentioned in the song. Uh, the next song is Edelweiss. Edelweiss is a little flower, white, very velvety, soft to the touch. It grows up high up in the mountain, in the snow-covered mountains, and it is a symbol of purity and honor. And so we ask Edelweiss, bless our homeland forever. Whiskers and kittens, bright velvet kittles and warm woolen mittens, brown paper packages tied with string. These are a few of my favorite things. Cream colored ponies and crystal ball strudels, durbles and sleeveless and snitches feed noodles. I guess that fly with the moon on their wings. These are a few of my favorite things. Girls on white dresses with blue satin sasses. Snowflakes that stay on my nose and eyelashes. Winter that melt into, into spring. These are a few of my favorite things. When the dog bites, when the bee stings, I simply remember my favorite things, but then I don't feel so bad. 
raindrops on roses and whiskers and kittens, bright copper kettles and warm woolen curtains, brown paper packages tied up with strings. These are a few of my favorite things. Cream colored ponies and crisp apple strudels, durbles and sleebles and sneetles with noodles, wild geese that fly with the moon on their wings. These are a few of my favorite things. Girls on white dresses with blue satin sasses, snowflakes and stay on my nose and eyelashes, wild geese that melt does melt into spring. These are a few of my favorite things. When the dog bites, when the bee stings, when I'm feeling sad, I simply remember my favorite things. And then I don't feel so
from Austria, we come down to Italy, where we find Ennio Maricone, a wonderful movie composer. The haunting melody, Gabriel's Oboe, is from his movie, The Mission, where it is adapted here into the song, Nella Fantasia. The text is so appropriate for our present time. In my fantasy, I feel the caress of a warm wind that breathes over the city like an old friend where the best of humanity is free to feel and live in harmony with love shared by all. Dahlia will sing the first verse in Italian and the second verse in English. to see. From Italy, we go up to Ireland, where David's ancestry is rooted. Dahlia is dedicating when Irish eyes are smiling to her beloved husband, David, with gratitude for his unwavering support and gentle nudging to continue to work and believe in the confidence of her singing dreams. And it's so unusual, um, really, to have a partner that just encourages, especially our artistic nature. 
Um, we also take a moment and honor the memory of our dearly beloved pastor, Monsignor John O'Byrne. God bless you wherever you are in those heavenly spheres as we so desperately miss you. Monsignor adopted the original Irish blessing text and he handed it to me and said, I would like you to set this to music. The melody just flowed out of my soul and he loved it. So Dahlia will sing uh, when Irish eyes are smiling and then my Irish blessing with the adapted deck text for Monsignor John O'Byrne.
From Ireland, we go all the way across to the Philippines. The richness and beauty of traditional music is mostly based on the Western diatonic scale rather than the indigenous Asian style of melody. And so we find balance and love songs full of longing and passion. Dahil sa isang bulaklak is such a love ballad. The piano accompaniment is as usual full and strong and complex, inviting the soloist to sing with passion. In contrast, we find Hindi kita malilimutan, I shall never forget you. Based on the text from Isaiah, 49, verse 15, 16, set to music by the now famous Filipino Jesuit priest, Reverend Father Manuel Francisco. I imagine that everyone in the Philippines, as well as all over the world, knows this song by heart and is probably not able to finish it singing because tears come as you remember the departing of a loved one. And so we have Dahlia singing her two songs in Tagalog.
An encore is such a personal selection. Uh, originally, we were thinking about using a large opera, an aria that displayed Dahlia's accomplishment in her vocal technique. But these are different times, and so we are choosing I Believe, a song reminding us of the power of faith, no matter the challenges. It is a curious time right here in our life, here on this beautiful planet Earth, as we are connected, every human being, all living beings from the animal and plant kingdom, all interrelated in one way or another to this pandemic coronavirus status. Right here at St. Anthony of Padua Church in the city of Gardena, California, as the law demands a gathering of no more than seven if singing is involved. So we are here, the five of us, um, Dahlia, myself, her husband David, um, and Ed and Eva Aleman Martinez, our video audio photography angels. So it is a different point in time. Yet in 1953, the very beginning of television, if you remember this tiny little box and everybody's so excited, and there we have Jane Froman who uh, requested and commissioned Irvin Drake, Irvin Graham, Jimmy Sherrill, and Al Stillman to write a song for her television show to cheer up her audience in the wake of the Korean War in 1952. I had to take a step back because 1945 was the end of World War II, and this is 1952. It was incomprehensible, actually, so soon after World War II. So they needed a song that would offer hope and faith for all. I believe became the first song ever to be introduced on television. And so at this time, we extend our gratitude to you who listen with joy, cheering and applauding the genuine work ethic involved in Delia's musical studies, as well as the creative work involved in bringing you this presentation. May all of us and all of our loved ones be blessed with abundant health and wisdom to stay focused on all that is positive and for the highest good for all. And so, I believe for every drop of rain that falls, a flower grows. I believe that somewhere in the darkest night, a candle glows. I believe for everyone who goes astray, someone will come and show the way. I believe. I believe above the storm, the smallest prayer will still be heard. I believe that someone in the great somewhere hears every word. Every time I hear a newborn baby cry or touch a leaf or see the sky, then I know why I believe. Dio gracias. Amen. I believe for every drop of rain that falls, a flower
Steve. 